is uh, one of my favorite people. Um, I say that a lot when it comes to the guys I work with because <laughs> Mariucci just kicked down a chair. Um, he is a Pro Football Hall of Fame finalist here this year once again. Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl MVP, and uh, a compadre from Game Day Morning. Kurt Warner, thanks for coming in, Kurt. Oh, man. Always good to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you here. Kind of nice another set. I didn't know if we were going to be riding in on horses this year or what. Yeah, we did that nice. last year with a horse. We did that last year, yeah. In Arizona, we had a horse. Now we sort of have some sort of like sushi restaurant yeah. looking thing that we're sitting yeah, in here. It's nice, though. Okay. I like it. We yeah. should windsurf in here. That would have been a good entry. Do you think so? Yeah. That would be somewhat. I don't know. If, I don't know if I went. That would be bad. Have you ever windsurfed, Mooch? No, and I won't do it. Kurt, you know, there's a lot of, I have not there's a lot of fish it. down below I would that, do it. that scare me. What do you mean? Fish down below? Yeah, like sharks, okay, right there. There are sharks out there? <laughs> what? Oh, my God, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. There's, that's Alcatraz over there. I've heard about that. Uh, so, Kurt, um, what, are your, what are your thoughts on the quarterback matchup this weekend? I know you, you have yeah. them, and I, we've been talking about them all year. Uh, do you think Peyton Manning um, can put the points on the board against this Carolina defense required to win? I think the answer to that question would be no. I don't think he can, but the question is, is he going to have to? I, didn't we say the same thing in the championship game? I mean, there was no way Peyton Manning was going to put up enough points to beat Tom Brady and the Patriots. Yet that defense was light out. So I believe this has a chance to be a lot closer than a lot of people think. I like the way defense, the defense of Denver Broncos is matched up against this Carolina team. Is They can play man on the back end. They can get after Cam. Cam is one of those guys that I know how great he is and elusive he is, but there's one thing about him. He still weighs 250, 60 pounds, so he doesn't have those quick feet of like a Russell Wilson. <clears throat> so if you get in his face quickly, he's not going to beat you in a small space. Now, if you leave him a gap, he'll go downhill between the tackles, but I believe that's where Denver has an opportunity to get after Cam a little bit and force him to make some mistakes or take some sacks by getting after him and playing man on the outside. And then what about Cam against this defense that hit Tom Brady yeah. 20 times? Yeah. I mean, hitting Cam just seems to be <laughs> yeah. a, a, a difficult proposition, potentially yeah. fruitless when it all comes down to it. Well, but. that's the thing is, I mean, you know, you're not going to make him feel it like Tom Brady, I'm sure, felt it. Um, but like I said, there, there are things I think you can do to slow Cam down, and that's <clears> got to be the key is you got to get in his face, uh, we always talk about with Denver and Peyton Manning, you got to push the pocket. You know, you got to push it up because he doesn't have the arm strength to be able to throw off his back foot. Cam will also throw off his back foot. Now, he's got the arm strength, but balls will get away from him if you push the pocket on him. So that's, good. That, that's where this game is going to be won and lost, I believe, on both <laughs> sides, is how they're able to push the pocket and get pressure on these quarterbacks. Carolina's great at it. Denver's great at it. Whoever can get after the quarterback better, I, I believe, has the best chance to win. Steve, you know who has the three most prolific passing games in the history of the Super Bowl? Yes, and if, <laughs> I'm waiting for bold predictions. Is there a bold that prediction? That might show up somewhere in <laughs> there. On Sunday at some point in our eight and a half Possible. hour. He's been pretty easy on me through the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, he, well, maybe week one, and then he kind of threw that to the side. I, You're back. Yeah. I'm back. I'm oh, back yeah. This week. Which one do you think has a better chance? Is it Cam? Who has a better chance of throwing for all those yards? You're going to have game? to wait, Rich. I mean, when Don't we, give away the gold. Yeah, this is like a show this meeting. This would be right like here. hour seven of the pregame show when we start oh doing bold gosh. predictions. That would be bold, not just for Cam, but against this defense. That would be. Thank you. It's pretty impressive. You're not the commissioner. Marshall is. He's going to okay. have to. <laughs> but there's more to it. There's <laughs> more like, to okay, it. There's more to it. You want it? There's more. Yeah. You want me to give it to you right now? Sure, why not? Give so people a little bit of a glimpse. <laughs> let me practice. This is like I said, we're going to have like segment. a show meeting. It's like a show. So meeting. it's going to be something on, like this. We've got eight and a half hours. It's going to be something like this. You can't give away stuff we're going to talk about now. All right, fine. I'll save can it. Can you? I'll save eight it. Eight and a half hours. <laughs> what are we going to talk about for eight and a half hours? I have no save it. earthly <laughs> idea. I don't know. None. Yeah. Zero. We'll come up with. Well, something. it's. I assume we're going to have some. Form, you know, Adriana Lima is coming on this show Friday, Steve. No. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, yes, she's coming on this show Friday, and she came on the. Can I come back on Friday? You're, you're more so, than welcome to come yeah. anytime. Is she, is come she, is she lost? Yes, she's coming. He's asking. Is that is that true? Is, but uh, do, do we have somebody coming to the set or not? I need well, a hug from the, somebody. The, the annual mooch hug. I know. You, you remember exactly, this, right? Yeah. It was Jennifer Aniston in Dallas, right? Um, Chrissy Teigen. I got him down. <laughs> Marissa Miller. <laughs> she's a San Francisco man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Adriana Lima. I gotta, I gotta text you that Marissa one. You Miller show didn't her. know you were the head coach of the 49ers. She didn't even know I was the coach of the 49ers. <laughs> she goes, my favorite member. Yeah. Well, well, here's what happened, Kurt. <laughs> so we're gonna interview a Victoria's <laughs> Secret, you know, and Marissa Miller. 
So I, I, I'm not sure who Marissa Miller is, right? Yeah. Well, so, she wasn't sure who you were. So I so call up my son yeah. because I hear she's from Santa Cruz or Aptos over there by Trent Dilfer. Where okay. They went to high school uh -huh. together. Uh -huh. So I texted my son Tyler because I heard she's a surfer. So I go, Tyler, tell me where the surf spots are over in Santa Cruz because he surfs. Boom, boom, boom. Pleasure point, the hook, all this stuff. So remember you guys... When she came on, mm -hmm. you left the set. They yeah. walked off. Yeah, we did. I we was let, stuck yeah. by myself. Just, I was like, that's it, we're do. out, we're tapped out. So you, it was so, just. So I went, that's right. so you're a surfer. <laughs> she goes, yeah, I'm a surfer, are you? I went, yeah, I, I, I surf over the, over the hook. She goes, oh, I like this. And so it's, she's, I had her fooled, man. And so, <laughs> and, then, and then I said, who's your favorite, you're a 49er fan, yeah. Who's your favorite coach? She goes, oh, Bill Walsh. I go, yeah, mine too. Who's your second favorite coach? She goes, <laughs> George Seifert. I went, mean, who's your third favorite coach, Harbaugh or what? She, she, said, she didn't even know who I was. I was, and we were trying to feed her. <laughs> Say Dennis Erickson. <laughs> <laughs> Just I got, please say boy, Dennis Erickson. Rich, I ate some humble pie, man. I, Did she know your name? Even when, not, it, not no. even when nothing. she was told, she had no nothing. idea. Yeah, so we gotta have Adriana yeah. Lima coming. Yeah, up. We gotta have. She knows. We, we gotta get a hug. Yeah, we gotta. Have we gotta figure something out there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Kurt, um, we don't. I don't. I don't even know how to bring it up, but I'm. I'm. I'm hoping we hear your name Saturday. Right, I'm just you. gonna say it. You know, you deserve it. This guy, Mooch. I mean, you want to start talking about him? Like, oh he's my not God, we don't have here, enough time to talk about. I don't have. It, but not you know just what? his accomplishments, but his story. If I'd have made the Packers back in '94. I'm probably let's get into I'm that. I'm yes. probably a lot. Now let's get into this. But 1994. Because, because what happened? I had to work in a what? grocery store and go to Europe and play in the Arena Football League. Now we're sitting here wondering if, if I'm going to yes. get in at all. You know what I mean? This is good stuff. Now. You know so what I mean? 1994, you show up in the Packers what training camp? Or yeah, showed up in training camp. Went. Uh, who called you? Who got you into that training camp? What happened? I don't know who got me into that. Training I didn't camp. call him. I didn't even yeah, know who he was. Exactly. <laughs> he didn't know who I was when I left either. Um, so, so we're in, yeah, I mean, we, we got, we got a great room. I mean, Brett Favre, uh, obviously he was going to be a hall of famer, uh, Ty Detmer, Mark Brunel, myself, and then, and then Mooch is our quarterback coach. So, right. um, I mean, it was a great experience. We went out to dinner, went over to, I think Mark's or Ty's house for dinner. Um, you know, they gave me all kinds of nicknames, Chachi and pop and yeah. all kinds of good stuff, but I was only there a few weeks and, uh, this guy here cut me, um, didn't even call me. You know, didn't even let me know that he was cut. Didn't call me afterwards. I mean, I didn't talk Mooch. to him until we started working together. No, until we probably you don't him. call everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was only four of us Ron in the room, Wolf. and I was the only one so, that got cut. You didn't have to call everybody. So, so listen, just so we were doing a show, right? Some Thursday night game, and then we were sitting there watching the game, and I get a text from Ron Wolf. Remember? Yes. And he yes. said, "Did you tell?" Did you tell Kurt you're the one that cut him? <laughs> and then we start laughing. Of course, Ron Wolf went in the Hall of Fame last year. It's yes. your turn this year. Yeah, I don't know. that Brett's turn this year. That, well, I mean, you you deserve it, Kurt. I mean, taking two teams to the Super Bowl. I mean, Peyton, you were the first to take two different teams to a Super Bowl as a quarterback. Peyton is the first one to take two different teams to two, two different, different Super Bowls. And he's the first one to do that. And you deserve it. I'll, I'll just put it out there. And what, but Mooch, what was it like game planning against? This guy, a game plan against, against him? him. Yeah, when he was kicking your butt up and down the block every single year. That yeah, was fun. I, yeah, After that was getting fun, cut yeah. by him. To dude, that was fun. After we, we beat them have. 17 in a row, then they start beating 17 us. 17 okay. in a row. I, I wasn't playing. You <laughs> can't right, so use that against me. I wasn't me. playing either. But anyway, <laughs> um, it was crazy because they had so this many weapons. This is crazy. They had so many weapons, and of course, when he when he was the MVP in '99, that was his first. That was his first hurrah. You didn't know much about this guy. Yeah. Other than he played in his fifth year at Northern Iowa. That's it. Okay. So what did you say? You said so we then got you this. go. You got Marshall. What did you tell your guys. You got your. You got <laughs> we, your. You got, we got this guy. This guy. Who is this guy? Like who is this, this guy? guy? Hey, I forgot. I even cut him. I don't even know anything. We're, just stop. He's a high V guy. Good. Let's exactly. get after this guy. Who is right? this guy? And it was it was crazy <laughs> watching that offense. Yeah. You know, they had the name. They had greatest show on turf. Did you make that up? No. And and, and so. <laughs> no. It was, um, he was the trigger man. I mean, it, it ran because he made it run, mm -hmm. all right? And it was an unbelievable story, you know, with Trent Green getting hurt oh, yeah. and, and, that, and Dick yeah. crying, you know? So it was tough to game let plan me, against. Let me tell you a story. I, I, you might know this. When you guys beat us, okay, it was like fifth game of the year, right? And we, we had lost Steve Young and Garrison Hurst, okay? The fourth. fourth game of the year. <laughs> so, so we go to St. Louis 
And these guys wow. beat us for the first time in 18 games. Yeah. We had their number. Anyway, <laughs> you win. So Dick Vermeil is a good friend of mine, too. I knew him before you did. you remember the score? Uh, I don't know. I, I, Do you, Kurt? What was the score? It was probably... What was the score? We, we crushed him. All right, fine. <laughs> so... So listen, so this is awesome. I, I go into their locker room at the after the game's over, all right? And I have I'm showered and I got my suit back on and my little briefcase, and I walk into the locker room, I'm looking, they're still celebrating over there because they beat the Niners, right? So Dick Vermeil, where's Dick? Where's Coach? He's in the shower. So I go over to the shower. Dick is in the shower by himself because he had to do a press. He was showering, and I'm standing by the shower. I go, hey. Dick, wait, wait to, yeah. good game, man. He came over, gave me a big hug right here. Naked? In the, in the shower, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Full frontal hug, man. It was well, like... But, uh, you, you, that, didn't, you didn't even come congratulate me in the locker room. I didn't either. I couldn't find you, you Kurt. Call me. I couldn't <laughs> find you. Congratulate me. There wasn't even I mean, cell phones nothing, back then. Nothing, nothing, like, Moose. <laughs> by the way, uh, final score, 42-20. Uh, do you remember how many touchdowns you had that day, Kurt? Five. <laughs> Isaac, Isaac caught three touchdown passes in the first quarter. He was quarter. hyperventilating because he was running so much in the first quarter. Keep well, piling on. Right. Let's take good. a break here. We'll come back with more with Kurt Warner and Steve Mariucci wrap up this edition of the Rich Eisen Show. And we may or may not unearth the famed Mooch Marissa Miller Summit. We may, uh -oh. we may or may not. All right, we may. That's next. Nice. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Kurt and Steve here. Uh, Steve's been spinning. You've been spinning many a yarn this hour. This has been great. Uh, Kurt, did you hear the back end of his recruiting I, story? I, just the back end, so I didn't really understand how it all fit together. Well, I mean, so. he, the recruiting story that Mooch was explaining is that, you know, the they were sitting in a, in a room in, a, in front of a roaring fire, and the, the conversation died down a little bit. So Mooch just is sort of like make chit-chat, said, wouldn't you want to be that cat over there, the cat was rolled up the ball and joined the fire. And what happened as soon as they turned? Well, just as I said that, and everybody and grandma and little sister, everybody looked at the cat, it rolled over and started licking himself all over the place, right, where the sun don't shine. So now, and, so, so, so now, somebody say, yeah. and then they're like, awkwardly quiet. It's like, so now, uh, I, we, as you know, we have this fake roaring fire here. here. Yeah. So now, hold on, I think they've got something for us. There we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the cat. That is yeah. the very cat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, as you know, we cut off the, the bottom end of the cat. Just, you know, it's a family program. Did, did, did okay. the recruit say yes? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. They didn't. Didn't seal the deal. And didn't then, seal the deal. And then uh, a naked, uh, a naked uh, hug in the shower with... Uh, with uh, Dickie V. Dickie V. Yeah. You've done that before, I bet. <laughs> no, that's not, that's just not a normal thing that we do after games. No, just you, Mushi. Well, you did, and and then there there was the. Do we talk about showering the shower hard? No, we don't talk not, about that one. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> about a particular a particular member of the the front office in Detroit. <laughs> He's going to talk about came it. Came in <laughs> after a well, game, said something to the coach who didn't quite like it, and then what happened? You went in. You went I in. had to take a shower, but I had a bar of soap, and I was just showering hard because I was so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> shower. I don't know if I've ever heard of shower hard before. That was the initial. I don't even know what that is. You, you never saw like that Bruce shower. Willis movie? I did not. Shower, shower hard? No, yeah, I didn't no. see that one. <laughs> but I got a visual of Mooch showering hard. <laughs> That's what we do here on this show. All right, welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Kurt and Steve here. Uh, Steve's been spinning. You've been spinning many a yarn this hour. This has been great. Uh, Kurt, did you hear the back end of his recruiting I, story? I, just the back end, so I didn't really understand how it all fit together. Well, I mean, so. he, the recruiting story that Mooch was explaining is that, you know, the they were sitting in a, in a room in, a, in front of a roaring fire, and the, the conversation died down a little bit. So Mooch just is sort of like make chit-chat, said, wouldn't you want to be that cat over there. The cat was rolled up the ball and joined the fire. And what happened as soon as they turned? Well, just as I said that, and everybody and grandma and little sister, everybody looked at the cat. It rolled over and started licking himself all over the place, right, where the sun don't shine. So now... And so, so, so now... Somebody say, yeah. And then they're like, awkwardly quiet. It's like... 
So now, uh, I, we, as you know, we have this fake Neil roaring Cameron, fire here. Yeah. So no, hold on. I think they've got something for us. There we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the cat. That is yeah. the very cat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, as you know, we cut off the the bottom end of the cat. Just you know, it's a family program. Did, did, did okay. the recruit say yes? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. Didn't seal the deal. And then, didn't seal the deal. And then uh, a naked, uh, a naked uh, hug in the shower with, uh, with uh, Dickie V. Dickie V. Yeah. You've done that before, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not, that's just not a normal thing that we do after games. No, just you, Mochi. Well, you did, and and then there there was this. Do we talk about showering the shower hard? No. We don't talk not, about that one. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> about a particular, a particular member of the, the front office in Detroit. <laughs> He's going to talk about came it. Came in He's, after a well, game, said something to the coach who didn't quite like it, and then what happened? You went in. You went I in. had to take a shower, but I had a bar of soap, and I was just showering hard because I was so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> shower. I don't know if I've ever heard of <laughs> shower hard before. That was the initial. I don't even know what that is. You never saw like that Bruce shower. Willis movie? I did not. Shower, shower hard? No, yeah, I didn't no. see that one. <laughs> but I got a visual of Mooch showering hard. <laughs> That's <laughs> what we do here on this show. Ronnie Lott, Brandon Marshall, Patrick Peterson, Warren Moon, Dan Marino, my two compadres from NFL Network here uh, in studio, Steve Mariucci, were kind enough to spend all third hour with us. Steve, I got nothing else to do, right? And Kurt Warner, who I, <laughs> I, 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 I love you guys coming in together and hanging out. Tomorrow's show is going to they're going to be like planes landing at SFO one after another. In studio, Derek Brooks, Jerome Bettis, Marcus Allen, Archie Manning. Great. Nice. Drew Brees, uh, the um, filmmaker of the new docuseries Religion of Sports, Gotham Chopra, Antonio Brown, Josh Dumel, and... Joe Montana. Mm. That's on Thursday's edition nice. of the Rich Eisen Show. And then Friday, we got Favre coming in. Do we? Yeah. And Adrian you're gonna Alima. Get all, you're gonna, and Adrian Alima. I mean, it's a mooch show. It's a mooch show. Oh, now, do you have a, Kurt, did he have a picture on his phone of, of, what, of hugging he did. Adrian Alima? I think he's got them all. Do it's you have on all your, the hugs on your phone? Do you have all the hugs on your phone? I'm just I got wondering them all. Who, who took the pictures? Where look, did you get them? Look at that. Did you look go back that. and rewind? Did that that rewind is a full-fledged, I mean, copy? seriously, that's 15 yards of unsportsmanlike you were conduct there, Rich. right there. You were there, she like... wouldn't let up. And so, I, <laughs> and so, so I, I grabbed the mic, I go, Rich, she's lingering. That's right, I remember. <laughs> what, did, what did Gail Mariucci say about that? No, she got the biggest kick out of that, I can't tell you. Did no, she? she did, she laughed. That was yeah, awesome, that was awesome. You remember that when we were at the Super Bowl in Phoenix? I looked over at Coach's phone and yeah. His wife was calling him, and, yeah. and it was under Gail Mariucci. What's Gail? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't Honey? Yeah. Wasn't the, Gail Mariucci? What's her name? Who puts their wife <laughs> in under the full name? I have my wife's first and last name. Also. First and last what? name. You got to stick. Which don't, you don't put you have one Susie? because if someone you have steals Susie. your phone, they'll text them and be like, "Honey, I need my social security well, number." And then I don't think that's the know. only reason you don't what put do you, your wife under What is Brenda's name under? Name. She doesn't no, no, no. need it. What? What is no, Brenda's name on your phone? It does say Susie Schuster on my phone. There you have it. it. So there's oh, a, for three. Does it? You? Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. I'm the only smart yeah. one with no wife. No wife. Coach. Okay. So <laughs> if, you, wow. if you could talk we somebody into go there. Wow. All right, let's let's hit it. Hit, hit, this is the, the moment of truth. Yeah, we right. found the video. Here's you with Marissa. The sound does it justice. I'll play it here. It's about 35 seconds. Go for it. Leave me, leave me. Is everybody leaving? Oh, this is just us. Okay, so you're a Bay Area gal, right? Raider fan, 49er fan. Oh, 49er. This is awesome. 49er all the way. Um, 49er. Yeah. You better believe it. Who's your favorite coach? Who's your favorite 49er coach of all time? Bill Walsh. <laughs> okay, who's your second favorite coach? George Seifert. Who's your third favorite coach? Is there, favorite is coach? there a writer? Jim Harbaugh? <laughs> She's like, is there a writer? <laughs> all right. Booch. Yeah. Candace Erickson and Marissa. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's, 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 you don't have to slow down. I see, speak the truth. See, so. see, we... <laughs> she speaks the truth, Mooch. Oh, jeez. Story of my life. <laughs> uh, do you want to make a prediction? Super Bowl 50? Or are you going to... What do you got? Eight and a half hours. Do we want to make our predictions now? I, I, I'm leaning towards Carolina, I think, okay. like everyone else. Uh, I haven't put a score on it yet, but... Okay. Um, that's Steve, what I'm leaning to. You're yeah. doing to... I'm leaning to... I haven't seen anybody lean in Denver yet. 
No. Not a single one. I actually saw Brandon Marshall you said was on. You must not have asked him. Well, he, he we did. He oh, said okay. he, we said he said that he said chose Denver over Arizona. Right. When he but was then asked he was for his sticking with Denver? Because he had already said that on inside the NFL. Oh, okay. But he but he's smart enough now, and now he's been a member of the paparazzi <laughs> right. now. He's like, but I like Carolina in this game. So he know? gave both. So he can win if yeah, exactly. yeah, Denver wins fans. otherwise. Did he say something about not wanting Kaepernick? Yeah. What did he say? What? He likes Fitz. He wants Fitz. He doesn't Fitz want Colin Kaepernick. Guy. Fitz was great. Yeah, yeah, that's your buddy. Last year. Yeah. That's your buddy. He was great last year. Yeah. Kurt Warner, thanks for coming on. You bet, I will man. see you Sunday morning. I'll be there. You bet. And I, I can't wait to hear your name Saturday night. I want to hear it Saturday night. I'm, I can say it. You don't have to say anything. Yeah, you say it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.